Hello, my name is Travis. I'm part of group three for Mechatronics, and this is our assignment one recap. To start off with, we'll go through some introductions. Um, like I said, my name is Travis. I'm a fourth year mechanical, and I uh, have a little bit of background in SolidWorks. And that leads to me, the other fourth year. My name is Seaver Gilbertson, fourth year mechanical engineering major, and I have a background in more managerial stuff. And so I am kind of taking on the role for writing a lot of the reports and working with a lot of the software and coding end of things. I'm Talon Meyer, current president of the UIS uh, club here on campus, uh, double E at the moment. Hi, I'm Morgan Wichman. I am the team representative. I'm a third year mechanical engineering student. I am a member of Baja, and then I'm also obtaining a minor in aerospace engineering and systems engineering. And the fifth member of our team, Justin Davis, is currently sick, so he is not here. Alrighty, and then for team organization. Now, what we actually ended up looking at is we were originally going to work with the Jira software. However, we got to the point where we realized the software offered a lot more functionality and tools than what we actually needed for our project. Due to the fact that we're a relatively small team and communication is very easy, we instead opted to go with more of a familiar software set and the Google Drive and the Google Space software. Google Drive itself is fairly self-explanatory. It's a cloud-based software that allows collaboration and real time in between different members of the team. Google Space, however, is a software people may not be more familiar with. It was a recent addition to the Gmail suit suite that actually is a meeting room of sorts that offers three main functionalities. The ability to create conversational threads to allow for organized communications, a quick file drop system for allowing rapid, de rapid deployment of files to people, and then finally it has a task management software which we're going to be using to populate our backlog and work with managing the different elements of this project. As for this week's assignments, it included Section 1, Design Summary, Section 6, Parts List, Team Organization, and the Creation of the Progress Briefing Slides. Each of these subsections within Section 1 and Section 6 were actually equally divided among the team to ensure that every team member had an equal part in this project. For project selection, uh, the door was really wide open for our group. Um, the assignment was pretty much just design an autonomous mechatronic system. And as Talon mentioned earlier, he's president of the UAS club, Unmanned Aerial Systems here on campus. And uh, since all the group members thought that building a drone would be cool, that's what we decided to do. And so uh, that is what we're doing. And uh, this is actually a pretty applicable uh, project, there's a lot of potential for using this type of software. Uh, as you can see here on the bullets, we could do an Amazon delivery drone, we could do farming applications, mapping, photography. The possibilities with drones are uh, pretty vast, so I'm interested to see what we come up with. Uh, as Travis said, I'm president, current president to the UAS club here on campus. Um, our goal essentially is to build autonomous autonomous drones, we rely heavily on computer vision, on cameras and a number of different sensors within the club's uses and the drones that we deploy. Um, and each year we go to a different competition. Uh, this year we have chosen the IEEE competition. I'll speak more on that in just a moment. And this is just the generalities of the club that we're, of the UAS club. Uh, for this, for the Mechatronics project, we've chosen the 2022 IEEE Autonomous Unmanned Aerial Systems Club. Uh, or sorry, I'm sorry, IEEE Autonomous Unmanned Aerial Systems Competition. Uh, the main goals for the Mechatronics team, as this is the actual competition that UAS will be going to this year, uh, the goals for the team for Mechatronics class is going to be the QR code detection and reading, and then motion detection of an, of an RC robot. And just a general parts list, we needed just the general parts for a drone, flight controller, speed controller, uh, a, battery a battery circuit so we don't blow up, blow up any of the motors, and then just motors and a couple of cameras for detection. As for objectives and tasks for the next assignments, we are going to continue uh, our research and development regarding unmanned aerial vehicles or systems. 
and then begin development of codes and design of the drawn chassis, where we wish to complete section two of the design of a microcontroller based system, which includes 12 sub subsections that will again be equally divided among the team to ensure that the project is completed. From here, we'll also create a backlog to ensure that everything is listed. Lastly, if you have any questions and or concerns regarding today's presentation, feel free to either reach out to Talon or myself at the following emails below. Thank you for watching.